Hey everyone, it's Steph here. Um, over the past few days, well actually the past few months, a lot of you guys have been asking how it is that I get my PS4 screenshots onto the Steam feed. I know there's various guides, but I thought, um, I still see some people struggle with those guides, so I thought I'd actually just uh, make a quick video of it. It's rather simple. Um, I use Facebook, it's the only time I actually use Facebook, uh, is to upload my screenshots. You can link it to a Twitter account from your from your PlayStation. Um, I choose to use Facebook. Um, I don't use it for anything else. As you'll see, there's, there's, there's um, very little else that goes on on my profile here except for the loading of, of um, PlayStation screenshots onto, onto Facebook itself. So it's a rather simple affair. You Once you've actually uploaded the picture off your PS4, you can go onto whatever the platform is that you've chosen and then you go and grab those screenshots. So I'll just uh, click on this one here quickly. And I know these four I haven't uploaded yet, so we'll start with those ones. What I simply do is I simply just save it. I save it to a Steam non-games folder, um, just for easier reference. Okay, do that for the second picture. Do that for the third one. One. Cool. Okay. So in order to get these screenshots uploaded onto Steam, you're going to need to have the ID, the Steam ID of a game, a particular game that you um, have that you want to load them up to. I see some people use Steam. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that PID number is, that, that ID number is. Um, some use ShareX. Uh, what I found is, um, because I love, sometimes I'm playing multiple um, PlayStation games and I would like them to be uploaded separately rather than in one group so that I can split them out so you can see that they're different games, I choose different games that have been discontinued on Steam. So, you know, it's generally games that are no longer on sale, they've got, uh, the hubs are practically dead, I just load my stuff up there. So I'll show you now. I've downloaded. Did we do all four pictures? Let me just check with me. Yeah, we did all four. Cancel. <clears throat> so I close that down. I'll get out of Facebook now. Okay. So if we if we go to where I excuse my desktop, it's a mess. It makes sense to me. If we go to where the games actually sit, where the screenshots actually sit, what you actually need to do is you need to make copies of those. So select all of them. Copy, paste. Okay. And what I and then what you need to do after that is go to the copied versions and rename them VR. So you remove the copy bit. You see there, I'm removing the copy bit. Add underscore VR. Very simple. And you do that for every single one of the copies. So you remove underscore VR. Once again, remove, rename, underscore. VR. I've gotten really good at this, so I can do a hell of a lot of these within a matter of a few minutes. VR. Okay. So I've now named them VR. Now I want to look, put them in a in a in a in a game folder that. So generally, I've already got mine favorited. So there's four games that I rotate between. Um, and if you if I if I if I actually go and click on those links, that'll take me to my Oh, user data folder, and inside there, that's where all of your screenshots would normally generally sit. So I've, all I've done is I've gone and just um, favorited for quick access the games that I want to rotate between. So in this one, I'm using the, as you'll see there, 378020. I believe that is for a game called Protocol. Um, that's where I'm currently sticking my Final Fantasy ones. When I was uploading my Red Dead Redemption 2, I think it was stuck in 293000, which I believe is Farewell to Dragons. But I mean, you can you can go and find a game that's discontinued on Steam. It's pretty easy. Go and favorite that folder, and that's where you're going to dump everything. When you start this folder, so if it, it'll be a brand new folder when you first create it, because obviously, you, you know, unless you actually run the game, if you have a, if you have a, um, if you have a discontinued game in your library that you want to use its its forums or its hub, you can also download that to get the folder structure created. 
but inside the screenshot folder. So let's start there. So for the one that I'm going to upload it into, which is the 378020, which is the protocol game, please remember to create a folder called thumbnails. So you'll create a folder called thumbnails, uh, all lowercase, and then you're going to stick in your your latest screenshot. So what I'll do is I'll cut and copy paste that, and I'm going to stick those into that folder. Okay. That's all you do. You just put them in there. Steam will rearrange and create thumbnails and all of that jazz for you. You don't need to do that, as long as you have a thumbnails folder. So make sure that when you're setting everything up, you've got a thumbnails folder. Okay, so that's really the process. It's actually quite simple. And um, in order to get them to reflect on Steam, you need to exit Steam because it needs to. Okay, it's going to kill Playclaw now. But anyway, um, okay. So anyway, we exit Steam. Let's just see if it's going to do this. Okay, so we'll exit now. Oh, I don't mind that Playclaw can run in the background. And what we'll do now is we'll just simply restart Steam, because that should now go and pick up the new photos that you've uh, screenshots that you've stuck into that folder, and you'll be able to actually access them and post them. Okay, what are you doing? Ah, there we go. And Steam has now loaded up. If I go and look in the screenshot section, so remember I said it was for a game called Protocol. Let's go and look in Protocol. Where's Protocol? There are the screenshots that I've just downloaded and stuck in there. So now they are available for you to post. Um, you can caption them if you want or do whatever you want with them. But uh, yeah, let's post one of them. So um, I can really have a naming convention that I follow so people know that this is uh, not Protocol the game that I'm posting to, but um, that it's actually Kingdom Hearts, which is the current game that I'm busy with, and then I usually caption it at the end with PS4. So um, I'm just going to put here, um, I'll fill in the caption later for my own purposes. So I'm going to upload that. And if I go to the activity feed, there is the photo. There is the screenshot uploaded and put nicely onto the feed as if it was a Steam game. Rather than having to upload it as artwork, I find that that looks kind of terrible because it's in a little tiny little box and it forces you to actually have to click, which I never do, um, to be honest. Um, I certainly don't, you know. We live in a, in a day and age of everything being immediate, so um, this is as immediate as it gets. Uh, yeah, so if, if that's the route you've been following, you know, sort of loading it as an artwork, um, try this method, see if it works for you, and let me know if you found the video helpful or not. I would appreciate it. Thanks, and cheers. Bye-bye.